Hey, this is Susan Velez, and what I wanted to do was I actually wanted to go through the process of setting up WordPress so that you can follow along and create your own niche site should you decide to do that. Now here I am inside of cPanel. I'm actually using a domain that I just like to use for demo purposes. So there's two ways to set up WordPress. Now one of them being that you can come down here and install it with this quick, quick install but I actually don't like to use that. I actually like to use the manual installation and the reason is because it's more secure that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through the process of, do, of setting up WordPress so that you can get your niche site set up in case you don't know how to use Word, how to install WordPress. It's actually very easy to do and I'm going to walk you through the process of how to do it. So once you're inside of your cPanel, which is the control panel of your hosting account, then you want to go to File Manager. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go to File Manager. And as you can notice, we're in the public HTML. There are no, There's nothing in here because I actually I do not have a, a site on this website right now on this domain. So what I want to do is I actually am going to install WordPress. So to download the software, you go to WordPress.org and then you can download the current version of WordPress, which is 4.1.1. So <clears throat> I'm actually, I've already got it downloaded. I've already saved it to, what you would do is come over here, right click, and then save the link to your desktop or wherever you can find it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. But what I am going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm back in my cPanel. And what I want to do is I want to upload the zip file that I downloaded from WordPress. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to go to my desktop because that's actually where I saved it. And I'm going to browse all the way till I find the WordPress file. And here it is. So I'm going to click on that and then it's going to start uploading. Now while that's uploading what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come back over here to my cPanel and what we're going to do is we're going to set up a MySQL database. Now for the purpose of the MySQL database I like to have a notepad open and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in MySQL database and then we're going to do MySQL user and then MySQL password. Now I'm going to be tearing down this site again because as I mentioned it's just a demo site so I'm not going to make anything really secure but for for your purposes you definitely want to create a database that is secure as well as a username and a password. So I like to keep a little notepad with this information should I ever need it again okay. So what we do is we come down we're back in the cPanel and what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to MySQL database wizard. We're going to go to the wizard. Now you could use the database but I'm going to come over here to the wizard. And then what we do is we're going to go ahead and create a database. Now I like to use RoboForm to create my databases and because it creates really secure databases. So what you want to do is I usually put 17 characters in here. You want to make sure that it has just letters and numbers. You do not want any special characters in your database name. So then I'm going to hit generate new and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste this in here and as you can see it gives me a green check mark that means it's a good database name so then we want to hit next step so what I want to do is I want to copy this right here this is the database name that we're going to need later to set up the WordPress site manually so you want to go back to your notepad and paste it right here where it says MySQL database we're going to paste that right there now we're going to go back and we're going to do the same thing but we're going to do the username and for the username you can only have seven characters inside of it and it cannot have any special characters either so we want to make sure that that's unchecked if you're using RoboForm then we're going to hit generate new we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that right there and you can see it gives me another green check mark now for the password you can have the special characters for the password and you can make it as long as you want so I'm just going to put 27 in there generate new copy that and paste that right here in my password now you can see that everything is green so that means everything's a go and then we got a very strong password which we know so I'm gonna come back over here to my my notepad and I'm gonna stick the password right there so that I can have this for later so now now that we've got everything created what we want to do is we want to create the user so we're gonna come over here we're gonna create the user and then we're gonna go ahead and check all privileges now we usually I usually uncheck some of these for the purposes of this video though I'm just gonna leave everything checked so then we're gonna go ahead and go next step so we we got everything created now one more thing 
is that I actually forgot to copy the username. So let me copy this username. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to go back to our notepad and we're going to copy the user down right there. So now we got the database, the user, and the password. And hopefully you have yours as well too because we are going to need them for the next step. So now that we got everything go good and you can see that we got a green check mark, we can actually go back over here where we uploaded WordPress and you can see that the upload is complete. So we close that out. I'm going to close this out as well and then we're going to come over here and we're going to refresh this page and as you can see here is WordPress sitting inside it uploaded it inside of a zip file so now what we need to do is we need to extract WordPress from the zip file so we're going to highlight this and then we're going to say extract and it's going to extract all the files from the zip files which is what we need so you can see that all the zip files came out all the files came out of the zip file so now what we can do is we can actually clean this up a little bit delete the zip file because we don't need that anymore but the bad thing is that it actually put WordPress inside of this WordPress folder which is something that we do not want so we're gonna open up this folder then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all these files you just come up here and you hit select all and it highlights the entire all the files in this in this uh, directory and what we're gonna do is we're actually going to move them so we're gonna come over here where it says public underscore HTML slash WordPress this is the folder that they're currently in WordPress we actually want them just inside the public HTML so we're gonna delete that all the way up to was where it says public underscore HTML backslash you wanna leave the backslash there then we're just gonna hit move files that's going to move all the files outside of the WordPress docu uh, folder and you can see that they are now inside the public HTML. So what we can do now is we can actually delete this WordPress file because we don't need it anymore and then we've, we're just left with the actual WordPress files. So now what we need to do is we actually need to install finish the installation of WordPress because we've got the files installed but now we need to set up WordPress. So in order to do that what you want to do is come over here to where it says WordPress config sample. We're going to rename this. We're going to rename this to WordPress config. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the sample until we've got WordPress hyphen config dot PHP. Then you click on rename and then that file's been renamed. So now what we want to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to click on that file that we just renamed and we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click on it, sorry, right click and we're going to edit this file. So now we're in here, now what we want to do is, you remember that information that we had right here, this MySQL database, MySQL username, what you want to do is you want to highlight the database name we're gonna copy that control C to copy and then right here where it says database name inside the quotes leaving the quotes we're gonna go ahead and paste that in there which is control V and we're gonna do the same thing for username so we're gonna grab this username and we're gonna control C to copy it and then control V to paste it right in here right in between the quotes and then what we're going to do is we're gonna grab the MySQL password we're going to paste or copy that control C and then we're going to go ahead and paste this in here as well inside the quotes now all this other stuff right here you just go ahead and leave alone and what I like to do is I like to these define authentication keys what I like to do is I like to come over here where it says HTTPS we're going to come all the way up here to the end of where it says salt I'm going to control C to copy that come over here to the internet or open up a new window control V and then we're going to grab this so what you want to do is just highlight all these control C go back and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paste them right over this those are encryption keys I don't I don't exactly know what they are but I like to have a nice set of encryption keys now one more thing that you want to do this table prefix what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change this and I'm just gonna go ahead and put demo because this is a demo site and you can put whatever you want as long as you leave the underscore right here now you could also put demo underscore and then you could put something on this side as long as you have an underscore right there um, it's no big deal how, how you do that but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that like that and then this is my new table prefix so what I usually do is I usually keep copy this as well 
and then I paste it into my notepad so that I have a, a record of that as well too. I put WordPress table prefix and then I'll go ahead and paste that and I'll also usually paste my my keys my authors authentication keys as well too I usually copy those as well too and paste them inside the notepad but for for this purpose I'm not going to so once we do that we're gonna go ahead and click Save so now it, everything is correct we're gonna come over here we're gonna open up a new window and you're gonna type in the domain I believe this is the domain install.php let me make sure that that domain is correct hold on just a bit okay so I actually had it wrong I went and checked to make sure that I had the domain the correct domain and now I do so what you want to do is you want to type in the domain backslash WordPress hyphen admin that are forward slash install.php and then what you want to do is you want to hit enter and if everything if everything works properly you should see this page and then what you want to do is I'm just going to assume that your site is going to be in English so we're going to click continue and then from here on out you can just go ahead and type in whatever your, your site is going to be I'm just going to put demo site and we're going to put a user um, by now you should know that you shouldn't use admin right here so I'm going to go ahead and just type in a user um, let's just put test and then password I'm just gonna put in password you definitely want to make sure that your stuff is a lot more secure as I said this is just a demo site I don't use it for anything and then an email address and then what I always do is I always uncheck this because I don't like to allow, allow search engines to index my site until it's actually ready to go once you got all that everything should be good just make sure you take note of your password and your admin username that you did now if you put in a correct email address it's gonna send you that information to your email address so you shouldn't have to worry too much about it but it's always safe to make sure that you have that once that's once you're done with that just click install and there you go it says WordPress has been installed successfully so that's it now you can just go ahead and log in um, start creating your niche site so anyway I hope this video was helpful on setting up WordPress and I'll talk to you later have a great day